Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain pulsed Doppler radar in great details. Here, I'll cover basics, block diagram and working of pulsed Doppler radar system. So let us begin this video with first agenda that is basics of pulsed Doppler radar system. First of all, you need to understand where should we use this system. See, this system is used to identify moving objects only. We don't use this system for stationary targets, right? So PDR means pulsed Doppler radar that we use it to track moving targets only. We don't use this system for stationary objects. This pulsed Doppler radar, that is a combination of pulsed radar system as well as Doppler radar system. See in my video lecture series of radar engineering, I have already covered pulsed radar as well as Doppler radar. Pulsed radar that we use it to identify range of the target while Doppler radar means continuous wave radar that we use it to identify motion of the target. And here you can observe name is pulsed Doppler radar means it is a combination of pulsed radar as well as CW radar. CW radar means Doppler radar, right? See, there were a few disadvantages which were there with pulsed radar and CW radar. Those disadvantages can be covered up with the use of this system. See, drawback of pulsed radar system that one should know that we use it to identify range of the target. With the use of pulsed radar system, we cannot identify motion of the target. Motion means relative velocity. So relative velocity calculation that cannot be done with the use of pulsed radar system. That was the drawback of pulsed radar system. While with CW radar system means with Doppler radar system, we cannot identify range. This CW radar system that we use it to identify motion of the target, right? Here, this pulsed Doppler radar system, that is a combination of pulsed radar system as well as CW radar system, right? With the use of PDR, we can identify range as well as motion of the target. Here, one should know the drawback of pulsed Doppler radar system. See, this radar system, this PDR, that cannot identify stationary targets. It is used for moving targets only. So now I think you are having proper background regarding what is pulsed Doppler radar system, right? Now, let me explain how block diagram is there. Block diagram of any radar system is having three major elements, antenna, transmitter and receiver. Here, let me give you a bit overview about block diagram. If you observe, here we have two separate antennas. One is for transmitter and second is for receiver circuit. So as we have two separate antennas, excellent isolation is there in between transmitter and receiver. One should know with any radar system, transmitter functions at very high power. That power is there in terms of few kilovolts to megavolts. While receiver is functioning at very low power, that received signal that is having power in terms of picovolts. So here, receiver is functioning at low power, transmitter is functioning at high power and we are having two separate antennas means excellent isolation is there. If you want to use single antenna for transmission and reception, then you will have to use duplexer to isolate transmitter and receiver circuit. Now, if you talk about pulsed Doppler radar system, then in that from name itself, as I have told you, it is a combination of pulsed radar system as well as Doppler radar system, where transmitter circuit, that is a circuit which is there with pulsed radar system, while receiver of this is there as per Doppler radar system, or you can say CW radar system. Now, let us try to understand working of this radar system. See, transmitter that is as per pulsed radar system where here we have CW oscillator, continuous wave oscillator that is generating oscillation with frequency of F of T and that signal is given to power amplifier. This power amplifier is amplifying signal and it is generating high power signal over here and that signal will be having pulse during which we are transmitting high frequency, high power signal and that modulation is done 
by this pulse modulator. So here there are few basic things that you need to note down. See in transmitter for short duration of time we transmit high power high frequency signal. So for short duration we are modulating that signal over here with the use of pulse modulator and signal frequency will be FT only but that signal is getting transmitted for short duration only. And here whatever signal that we transmit towards target that target identification will be there for moving targets only. This pulsed Doppler radar system that we use it for moving targets only. It is not used for stationary target. Now let me explain how exactly working will be there as per signal transmission. So here if you observe we have one object that is moving towards radar system. So here this transmitting antenna that will be transmitting high power signal towards this object and that transmitted signal is having frequency f of t and that is there in terms of high power over here. It could be there in terms of few kilo volts to mega volts. And if you observe for short duration only we are transmitting high frequency high power pulse over here. Right. Now based on motion of the target there will be reflection and that reflected signal will be having frequency deviation based on velocity of this target. Here received signal at this antenna that will be having frequency that is Ft plus or minus Fd and this signal that is there in terms of pico volts. Pico means 10 to the power minus 12 volts. Here this deviation in frequency that happens based on this motion of this target as if this target is moving towards radar system at that time this deviation will be positive and as if this target is moving away from the radar system in that case this deviation will be negative and that ft plus or minus fd that signal will be received by this receiving antenna and this signal that is given to receiver circuit over here and with receiver we have reference signal from transmitter which is having frequency f of t so here in the receiver we will be having mixture that will be separating this frequency it will be eliminating ft component and here we will be having doppler frequency and based on doppler frequency we can identify motion of this target right motion means velocity of this target so here transmitting antenna that is transmitting high power pulse with frequency f of t and reflected signal that is having very low power that power is there in terms of pico volts and that will be having frequency ft plus or minus fd this deviation in frequency is happening based on motion of this object here once that signal is received over here then here plus or minus fd frequency that is identifying relative velocity and in this block diagram i have told you transmitter of pdr that is a transmitter of pulsed radar system and this receiver that section is there as per CW radar system or you can say Doppler radar system. In CW radar system we were been identifying Doppler frequency right. Here based on calculation of Doppler frequency here we have echo signal in which we have deviation in frequency that is Doppler frequency. So based on frequency deviation that is Doppler frequency over here this PDR is calculating relative velocity and that calculation also I have derived in my earlier videos of this radar engineering that frequency deviation is 2 VR by lambda where VR is relative velocity. So basically this pulsed Doppler radar system is a combination of pulse radar system as well as Doppler radar system where we are identifying motion of moving object. This radar system is not used for stationary targets and based on advantages of pulsed radar system and CW radar system this combination is placed as per PDR that is pulsed Doppler radar system. I hope you have understood this. Still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.